need to get across there. Damn it. <laughs> I thought I saw something there. I'll head up there later. <coughs> I see a horse. And a dead bandit. Alright! <laughs> Thank you for the horse. That'll make things a little easier. <laughs> I saw the horse and I was thinking, maybe I should steal that. And I saw the dead bandit and I was like, hmm. There's another uh, standing stone up there. It's the ritual standing stone. I don't need it. <laughs> I'll uh, come back and mark it later. Horses have the same amount of stamina as you do, so they'll run out at the same rate. <laughs> but they have virtually unlimited carrying capacity. So you can have, you know, thousands of pounds on you, but still be able to sprint in fast travel. The bandit would try to, um, hustle me for money <laughs> to get past, but I'm on a horse, so she's ignoring me. Sort of. No. Keep in mind, dragons- uh, not dragons. <laughs> Horses are not immortal. They will die if you fall from too high of a height. Also die if they get hit too much. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually come across a dead bandit and his horse. Assassin. Who the piss off? see here. As instructed, you are to eliminate Nexus and Jealous by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. You've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Obviously. Hello. I didn't expect an assassin attack this early. Those are random, by the way. You can't, uh, determine when they're gonna pop up. <laughs> Although sometimes you do get, um, the name of the person that hired them to kill you. Not very often, mind you. Yeah, the horses of Skyrim can defy physics. The fuck? Oh, that's a bard. They can climb near, um, horizontal, or vertical, uh, climbs. I heard a wolf.
I hate climbing these things. Try to be careful not dying. I want to try and uh, climb the throw of the world on uh, this horse. What is that? Heroes have just discovered. Shadow has borrowed discovered. Yay! Just where I needed to be. On your way up the seven. Some steps again, Kermit. Not what today. The fuck? It's not ready to make the climb to High Rothgar. The path isn't safe. Okay, I lost my horse. Passing through on your way to High Rothgar. About to make a delivery up there. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Not that sure what that was all about, but... Definitely interesting. Now, I'm not sure if there actually are 7,000 steps. There are um, rumors that there are, though. The uh, head designer said that he was actually going to put 7,000 steps in. But no one knows if he actually did. And I'd say if you want to, you can count, but I'm not going to be following the path all that often, so... It's kind of a moot point. <laughs> That's Aurora, though. <sighs> when I last save. Okay, um, <laughs> I'll be back in a minute once I get to the top of the mountain. I'll just go up there. So I shall see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I was able to get to the top of High Prothgar, or whatever you want to call it, uh, the throw of the world. <laughs> um, it's nothing majorly detailed or important that goes along the way, so that's why I decided not to record it. <laughs> About the only thing that is worth noting is halfway up there's a troll, a frost troll, and it's recommended to avoid it unless you have a lot of fire spells. <clears throat> now what I did do off screen after I died was I went back to uh, the towns and whatnot, did a few side quests, mo I did, I did the side quest to get the sword, and 
the stuff I got out of it was enough to do the uh, buy the house glitch. It's going to be the bonus video at the end of this chapter. So look forward to that. I also found a stormcloak ca uh, camp, and they asked me to join the rebellion. All right, let us do this quest. I also found a guy named Bulbus. Now, Bulbus is a unique random encounter. <laughs> he will appear, and for the rest of the game, he'll be where you found him. This doesn't happen at all in any of the other random encounters. If you kill him, which I did do, <laughs> you can loot Bulbus' fork from Bulbus's fork from him. Does nothing, it's just a unique item. I've never found him before, that's why I killed him on sight almost. And he also has a danger heart, which is helpful for danger smithing and some other stuff. So, yay. I also found a uh, fire edge knock, which is where I got the fire salts from. And that's about it. Um, Bulbus does have a purpose ish, I guess, later on. During the Dark Brotherhood side quest, you do something and something and something. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but. If you do that part, and then go talk to Bulbus, he'll give you stuff. But I don't really need it, so... And anyway, let us go into town, into a High Rothgar, and do this. Good. So... Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Oof. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force.